you know, as I mentioned before we started recording, I spoke with your colleague there, Sir Roger Penrose, <clears throat> about uh, his theory of what he calls orchestrated uh, objective reality, which involves very complex, you know, uh, detailed um, predictions about how wave functions actually collapse. And, and they do so in connection to another one of his great, you know, kind of triumphs that involves what's called the wild curvature, which is a derivative of an analog function within, you know, continuous uh, three dimensions of, of space and one of time in GR. And, but I wonder, you know, and I asked him about his thoughts on superintelligence and the simulation hypothesis. And, and he was very not sanguine because as you probably know, he doesn't believe the brain is a computer in a sense. And, right. and, and um, so I wonder, how, is that a valid objection? In other words, I say there aren't, you know, the ultimate computers aren't even quantum computers. They're, they're, you know, they're, well, they're, they are quantum computers, but, but consciousness is a manifestation of a, you know, of, a, of this very, very highly non-trivial classical problem um, that, uh, that does involve at some level, um, you know, how a wave function actually collapses and what causes it to collapse. And then it's instantiated in terms of these microtubules inside of the right. human brain. So what? how would you react to that? What if these ultimate computers that the ultimate, you know, simulators <laughs> will will come up with or have nothing to do with uh, with an advanced, you know, MacBook Pro? Yeah, so I mean, so I, I don't buy this claim of quantum consciousness. I don't particularly think that quantum phenomena um, are... Uh, important for how we humans achieve our high level cognition. Um, I, I think the human brain is basically too noisy to really take advantage of quantum superpositions. Um, if he were right about that, then uh, it, what the, what would have to be assumed in order for the simulation argument still to hold would be that at technological maturity, you were able to construct extremely powerful quantum computers such that uh, you would be able to make a lot of simulations of minds in the future, even though each of those minds that you would have to simulate would require harnessing quantum computation. I mean, it does seem like if the human mind naturally evolved to take advantage of those quantum phenomena, then presumably a technologically mature civilization could also take advantage of those phenomena and probably do it on a larger scale or at least uh, with great parallelism. So that if I had to guess, it would still be feasible to create astronomical numbers of human-like experiences, even under those assumptions. But as I said, I don't buy the assumptions. Mm -hmm. When you look at you know, these kind of arguments, um, I guess, you know, one, one question that naturally arises is, yes, if these if these processes, you know, people tend to put a lot under the wool, under the rug, as we say, you know, saying something is quantum, right? So that, that allows for a lot of, you know, either sloppy thinking or, or, or you know, in some sense, uh, a lot of latitude. But, you know, thinking about processes that are continuous versus discrete, I do note that, you know, Turing in his paper, a lot of people forget this, he was only talking about digital computers. Now, that could have been because those are the only kinds of computer, uh, I mean, analog computers existed, right? I mean, they've been around for thousands of years. Uh, but I, I, I don't think he was necessarily making a, a distinction between quantum computers which you know people have thought about but um but yeah, where do they fit in i mean it's it seems to me in most cases quantum computers at least today are the best devices ever made for studying quantum computers um they 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 can do other things and and colleagues of yours like scott aronson and others have have you know done great work and and you know kind of forecasting what they could do but um but do you is is there sort of hype with that not drake equation level hype but uh, is, is and are people basically extrapolating from you know hearing this magical word quantum to this enormous infinite power, which is not really the intention. In other words, is quantum you know is a quantum computer really the ultimate evolution uh, that's necessary in any way for to unlock the simulation you know uh, arguments? Uh, no, no, I don't think it's necessary either for the simulation argument or for indeed a. a developing machine super intelligence. Um, I think if we really got quantum computers to work, they would accelerate uh, certain 
types of computation um, that would be useful, for example, as you said, for simulating quantum systems, also for cracking certain cryptographic codes. Mm -hmm. And no doubt people would find other uses for them. Um, possibly some uses that might be helpful for developing artificial general intelligence, although it's not completely clear how. Um, but it's not needed. Um, I mean, in fact, if we look at the current main types of algorithms that are used in machine learning, they are quite insensitive to uh, precision and, and a very sort of digital approach seems to work very well. Like initially people were using, you know, 32 or 64 bit floating numbers to represent the parameters of these large mm -hmm. neural networks. Turns out that's overkill and you don't need that kind of precision, mm. like 16 bit numbers are perfectly fine and you can kind of discretize things quite a lot and it still works you save a bunch of computing power and you don't really lose that much in performance and to me uh the human mind also looks like a system which has to be robust to noise it can't be too fuzzy about you know the tenth decimal <laughs> in, in some particular setting in some neuron because like biological systems are noisy things wiggle around all the time you know sometimes you do exercise and you heat up by one degree and then you mm -hmm. could like you, you 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 can't rely on on those excessively fine gradations i think and so that kind of forces you to use a slightly more robust paradigm where exactly where you carve up the bits doesn't really you know it's not critical for the functionality mm. so um my wife has a question, which is, um, if the simulation argument is correct, why are there so many Kardashians? Well, why wouldn't there be? <laughs> I guess it's it's like these, you know, people that like Shirley MacLaine here. Yeah, people always think that they they had they're reincarnated, but they're always like super interesting backstories. You know, that they were the uh, maid of Marie Antoinette or something. You know, it's never like I was uh, one of the guys who who put the axles on some wheel that that uh, ran off a donkey cart putting a pyramid block in place, you know, 2,900. Anyway, um, I guess it's the the bias towards, um, uh, towards, you know, kind of people thinking of themselves with, with more importance. I mean, putting a kind of the similarity bias, so to speak, but, and I'll, uh, that was just a joke really, but, but in seriousness, um, there is, but you, uh, but you could ask as, as a sort of related question, right? So you could ask, is the human history that we, uh, observe more or less interesting than you would expect a typical history of some human-like intelligent species to be on some random planet where that were human-like creatures. Um, like, do you think on most planets things would just be a lot more boring, or are we right. sort of in the middle of the distribution? Um, I mean, if if I I don't know that there is anything particularly suspect if we just look at how things i mean it might be kind of a little bit surprising that life evolved at all and stuff like that but once you get to to the rise of homo sapiens then you know it, it doesn't seem that there's this amazing sequence of coincidences within the past few thousand years that are just like that looks astronomically unlikely unless somebody rigged it to be like 